Well, this tabletop exercise is some kind of the simulation of the first day or two days of the on-site inspection when the inspection team arrived at the point of entry, the point uh, which is defined for the inspected state party where they will meet with the representative of the states. They will arrive and they need to present the mandate, inspection mandate to the inspected state party. Inspection mandate is a document signed by director general of organization and contain the list of the inspectors which techniques could be used, the list of the equipment to be used, but also uh, inspection team needs to present initial inspection plan and uh, what activities will be conducted in the first day. The protocol to uh, paragraph 75 telling that if the access to different part of inspection area is restricted, then you should also cooperate with us to provide any other way to be there. So if the overflight is prohibited because of your uh, point of view, then maybe we could arrange some other uh, access. Yes. Uh, in reality, on-site inspection is the last resort to see if the ambiguous event is a uh, nuclear nature or nuclear explosion or is just the natural occurring event or event which has nothing to do with the nuclear explosion or testing of the nuclear weapons. We had the opportunity to actually uh, implement what we just learned uh, from the lectures. So we had the opportunities to um, carry out all the uh, treaty uh, obligations and regulations and uh, had the opportunity to understand many the details uh, of the treaty uh, articles. Also for us, for the on-site inspection division team, it's very important experience because we can learn from this, how things are developing and how we can, first of all, improve the simulation and second, how we can improve our training for other uh, people who go through the training, the surrogate inspector training.